Queen's head of royal household bans tradition that has run for hundreds of years. The Queen's staff have gone barking mad after being banned from bringing their dogs to work. The Lord Chamberlain, head of the Queen's household, has ended a centuries-old tradition which allowed royal servants to bring their pet pooches into the office. A royal insider said, Palace staff are up in arms about it. For hundreds of years members of the royal household have been able to bring their dogs to work but the Lord Chamberlain has put a stop to it for reasons of hygiene and security. It's an odd decision considering the Queen and her family are such dog lovers. Obviously it doesn't affect the royal corgis. The move is thought to apply to staff working across all of the Queen's official residences including Buckingham Palace, Windsor Castle and Sandringham House in Norfolk. It is not known whether Prince Charles's household at Clarence House has adopted the ban, along with Kensington Palace, where the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Prince Harry and fiancé Meghan Markle all keep dogs. William and Kate have an English cocker spaniel called Lupo while Harry and Meghan share Nottingham Cottage with the American actresses Beagle, Guy. A Buckingham Palace spokeswoman said, Decisions on allowing staff to bring dogs are taken on a case-by-case -case basis, taking into account all practicalities, the potential impact on the fabric of buildings and the owner's individual circumstances. Until last year the Queen had one corgi, called Willow, plus two corgi Dachshund crosses, Vulcan and Candy. But despite declaring she would not take on any more dogs, when Sandringham groundskeeper Bill Fenwick died last January she adopted his corgi, Whisper, 